this world has produced a number of inventors from different generations, from Thomas Edison to Bill Gates to Steve Jobs, including myself, Arnold Yendo. But most of you might be wondering how and why. But before that, it would be important that we understand who an inventor is. An inventor is a person or a group of individuals who come up with a solution to a particular problem. Having said that, let me tell you my story so that we can be able to work together and understand why I spoke that I fall under that category. In 2015, I was only 18 in my high high school days and trying to finish up my grade 12 and to go home so that I can go out there probably and pick any career and start my life. I was excited about it. But in that, in that very same year, in 2015, Zambia was in trouble. Because for those of you who follow the history of the country, you would remember that we had energy deficit and load shedding, some of you might call it. And not only the household was affected, but also industries and government institutions. In one way or the other, everyone was affected. And people kept on complaining about the same problem, because eight hours of load shedding was too much. When it comes on a household level, in terms of food preparation, you don't probably prepare your meal on time or you get late at work. It was that at very time, I was just in high school, and I didn't just want to be part of the people who complained about the same problem, but I wanted to contribute in one way or the other. So one of the days as I was in my class, I drew something on paper showed it around my friends in class, outside class, including my metal teacher. But no one understood what I had drawn on paper. This was a stove that would cook, bake, fry, roast, warm, fry, without using power. But at that time also, I needed materials to build that stove and resources to finance it. So I approached my school administration so that they could finance the project, but their response was that it was a bit expensive and it almost costed me the same amount as my school fees. So the project wasn't supported. So it was a small setback. I thought within myself that I can still do something about it. I still need this because this is a solution to the problem we're facing. So that time, I remember one of the days I was moving in school and I came across some old scrap metals from an old locker that was dumped somewhere. Then I picked them up, washed the material, and took it to the school workshop and started building my stove. I remember missing my classes for about a month and three weeks. At that time, we were all preparing though for exams. But after three, a month and three weeks, we did manage to complete the project. And it went on to be exhibited at the provincial state's fair, or national fair, you might call it, until it went on to the nationals where it came out second in the country. After coming back from the National Fair and writing my exams, then I went back home in the Copper Belt. The following year, in 2016, I turned into an entrepreneur. I started selling my stoves. For about three months, business was good, but something happened. A big partnership landed on me that I had never expected to come my way. 
by Southern Africa Stainless Steel Development Association in South Africa. This was to improve the stove from mild steel to stainless steel with high advanced technology so that it can compete or win on the international market. But that time, I kept on asking myself, because there were a number of challenges that I had met then, because that same very year, I just enrolled in school to start my bachelor's degree at Mulungushu University in development studies. That was the first challenge. The second challenge was that I had never traveled outside the country. And thirdly, I was exposed to a new industry, stainless steel industry, that I didn't know anything about it. And even in my country, I wouldn't pick up a mentor who would show me the way to go about it. So after about two years, in South Africa, Cape Town, every summer I would travel, and we completed the project which I named the Juvin Stainless Stove, which I named after my parents, Justina and Vincent. After the completion of the stove, the stove was awarded at the International Stainless Steel Award and was certified as a world-class product, making it the first mark of its kind a Zambian product in the stainless steel industry. After 2018 of the International Stainless Steel Awards, I came back home here with good hopes, excited, and right away I came to, I signed a 1.2 million deal with the Ministry of Youth and Sports so that we can build the first world-class plant in Zambia, so that we can produce the stoves within and export. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 and a number of issues, it didn't work. That was a big setback in my career, and a lot of hopes went within me because I had worked tirelessly for the past three years, used personal resources, and a number of people had hoped this to come. But I looked at the bigger picture. Thanks to the mentorship and to the experience and the exposure I'd gotten in the stainless steel industry in South Africa, that gave me a courage go and work on something more better than what we had built in South Africa. This was a partnership in Asia in 2020 with Tumshon Machinery to work on the stove that would become the first of its kind in Africa to be powered with three fuels, that's gas, electricity, and solid fuel on one product. This took up about a year and some months in Asia and we did manage to complete the project. But what inspired me to go on further despite us building on something in South Africa? I looked at the gap that was there in the market. This gap was firstly the economic spaces in homes. Most of we buy stoves where we are coming from. We buy stoves that are powered by a single source of energy. It's either just on electricity, or bias on gas, or just solid on fuel. For you to buy all the three space, economic spaces in homes, the cost expenses attached to buying all the three, and also the energy, just convenience of your, the energy that you, want to, you prefer to use it for. So that's what led me to build this stove, which was certified and also has been recognized as the first of its kind in Africa, a stainless steel stove that is powered with gas, electricity, and solid fuel. It has 12 bolts and 12 nuts that allows you to assemble it. You can dismantle it, meaning you can not only push it in your homes, but you can also take it in outdoors. For example, if you're going camping, you can just break it, and you're going to use it wherever you want to go to use it. The stove for myself and the stove itself it has led me to a number of awards, like the City Microbank Entrepreneur, most Resilient Youth in Zambia, 2020, the Moape P Awards, Outstanding Entrepreneur in the U.S., the Global Student Entrepreneurship Award, the CEO Today Africa Award, and the most prestigious of them all, the Africa Genius Award, which I was nominated alongside Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote. Looking at this all, 
We can learn something from this. I did not go outside, go and seek for a solution, come and solve a local problem. But I started from where I was and looked around me and searched for local materials within me that would help to solve a problem that we had. So I would urge each one of you that you should look within yourselves, within where you are, your environment, search for materials that you can use to solve the problems that you are facing, which I call local solutions for local problems. It starts from there. Going forward, I dream of a day of where we'll have our own world-class plant in Zambia and we'll be able to produce the stoves for exports, not only in the region, but across the world, impacting lives and changing lives in the way we lived, we thought, even in terms of job creation and wealth creation, for the betterment of the future. Thank you.